They want you to believe that the tooth fairy is woke and anti-Christian. And they also want you to believe that they will find something incriminating in Hunter Biden's laptop. Chair recognizes next gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My friends on the other side of the aisle, the MAGA Republicans, want you to believe that ex-President Trump won the election and is still the president. And they want you to believe that the insurrection of January 6th was not an insurrection, it was just a, a tourist visit. And they want you to believe that the tooth fairy is woke and anti-Christian. And they also want you to believe that they will find something incriminating in Hunter Biden's laptop. And they also want you to believe that there are some chilling of parents' fundamental rights by the Biden administration. There's absolutely no evidence to support the MAGA conspiracy theories about a far-ranging federal government effort to chill parents' speech. And if the MAGA Republicans were truly concerned with protecting free speech, they would focus on the efforts of some Republican-controlled state legislatures to ban books, censor our history, and limit what can be discussed in schools. According to research by PEN America, state lawmakers have introduced 303 educational gag order bills since January of 2021 and have instituted more than 2,500 book bans in, 20, in the 2021-2022 school year. Now, if MAGA Republicans were interested, really, in protecting free speech, they would not throw out grieving parents from a congressional hearing like they did today for voicing their, opinion, their opinions um, uh, about uh, their children being killed by gun violence. Schools are where children learn how to be engaged and thoughtful citizens in a democracy. And these educational gag orders that are being promoted by some of these witnesses today are such that they prevent children from learning their full history about what really happened in America and learning basic skills to understand and analyze different viewpoints. How can we have a healthy democracy if we put blinders on our children's education and act like an authoritarian regime? Beyond that, these educational gag orders erase the experiences of our black children and our LGBTQ children. Kids deserve to know and see themselves in books. They deserve to be able to express their true selves and children of all races deserve to learn their history so that they understand the present. How can we expect adults of the future to consider and address contentious issues if they're taught as children that they should shut down discussion of an opposing idea, deny uncomfortable truths, and erase the existence of people who are different from them? We should all be able to agree that state-imposed censorship and book bans violate our cherished right to free expression and send the wrong message to children about core principles of democracy. Now, uh, Ms. Uh, Niley, uh, you're president of parents defending education, which takes money from the Koch brothers. Isn't that true? Well, you take money from the Koch brothers. That's my question. Isn't that correct? We believe in donor privacy, and I do okay. not discuss where our money right. comes from. Okay. However, I All do right. actually well, like, let, no, I'd like to. I'm like, my time, Ms. Justice. Um, your group is a dark money group, and you got your start uh, opposing mask mandates to protect children and school workers from COVID. Isn't that true? Push your button okay, there. Thank you. 
Quit. Thank you, ma'am. And Mr. If you speak Langhofer. up, make sure you push the button. Hold Mr. on, just Langhofer. Ms. Johnson, hang on just a second. It, it, I want to remind everybody to push the button so we can hear your voice when you respond. Um, may I answer and, now? And, and Mr. Yes, you can answer. Oh, thank you. you. No, me? sir. I'm reclaiming my time. I, just, I didn't Mr. have my mic on. And Mr. Oh. Langhofer, the Southern Poverty Law Center has designated the Alliance Defending Freedom as an LGBTQ hate group. Isn't that correct? Alliance Defending Freedom is one of the world's most respected Supreme Court advocates. We've won 14 Supreme Court cases in the last 12 years. We advocate for the you rights of all group. people. You are a hate group. Are you not? All walks of life. You've been designated as a hate group, correct? We are a, an experienced Supreme Court advocacy organization I, I will, that advocates uh, for everybody's back rights. yield back my time. Thank yeah, you. you yield back. SPLC has zero credibility. They've made a habit over the last four years of labeling all conservative groups as hate groups. So um, you need to expand your sources. They've labeled all hate groups as hate groups. Uh, okay. 